Do you believe in that work smarter, not harder? I believe in both. Yeah. But there's a time when it comes to work smart. And most people are trying to do the smart work before they do the hard work. It's kind of like talent, right? You don't notice if you're talented at something until all the hard work's done. Yep. I could be the most talented tennis player in the world, but I don't play tennis. So if I go down the tennis court, Joe Schmo is going to smoke me. I don't get to see my talent until I've worked so hard that I'm in the top 1% and now I'm beating them because I have some God-given gift. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do the hard work first. If there's no hard work, there's no smart work. So someone's going to sit there and go, I work smart. I don't work hard. So I only have to work an hour a day. If working smart gets you a lot done in an hour a day, then you should work smart for 12 hours a day and yeah. get 12 times the work done. I, I am absolutely and utterly a believer in hard work. I'm a proponent of hard work. I have all this money and all I do is work. My entire life is work. I want to go to the gym so I'm in good shape. Work. It's all work. My entire life is work. And people don't want to look at life that way. They want to talk about work-life balance and being lazy and all this crap. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in if you want to win, you have to outcompete the man who's prepared to do nothing but work. It's player versus player. If you're going to sit there and go, I don't want to work more than an hour a day, well, the guy who does want to work more than an hour a day is going to beat you. And no matter how smart you are, there's always a smart dude who's doing the same smart work you are for more hours than you're doing it. That's just the nature of the game. Speed is extremely important in business. Everything that needs to be done must be done fast. That doesn't mean it has to be done cheap. It means it has to be done quickly. People seem to conflate the two. That if you do something quickly, it must be terrible. That's not the case. When you're a professional fighter, you learn to punch. Your instructor says faster, faster, faster. You learn to punch faster. You don't degrade your punch. You don't start punching like an idiot. You keep the same quality of punch, but you do it quicker. Now, nobody in the world, the modern world especially, and I'm going to say this a caveat that I've learned across my career as well, especially if you're dealing with creative people in any kind of regard. They don't understand speed. Numbers people kind of understand speed. Creative people don't understand speed. And this is their, they have a strength and a weakness there. With creative people have something I don't have. They're very creative and they can see things I can't see, but it takes time. I'm the complete opposite. I want everything done straight away now. But speed is super important for a business and I'm gonna tell you why. So whatever you're thinking of doing, whatever the business you're thinking of running, you need to do things quickly. If an airplane, everyone knows how planes work, is flying through the sky, arrow, beautiful demonstration for you there, a beautiful diagram. Even if its engines fail, it will continue to fly. If the engines fail, it will not fall out of the sky and instantly crash to the ground. It will continue to fly. Do you know why? Because it has forward momentum. It's going forward and that means the wings are creating lift, air is going underneath the plane. As long as the plane goes forward, it will not fall and fail. And a business is exactly the same. The key with business is to make sure you're always moving forward, always producing content, and always doing everything you can as quickly as possible.